Hello and welcome to this Science Vision video. Now in this video we're looking at the topic of atomic structure. Right, now let's get this straight. First of all, atoms are incredibly small. Okay, incredibly small. This is the head of a pin. Okay, this is a dressmaker's pin here. Now millions of atoms would fit on the head of that pin. So they are incredibly small. How small? Well, I'll give you an idea. Here we got the proverbial spoonful of sugar. Now in this spoonful of sugar, it would contain approximately this number of atoms. I wouldn't dare for one second try to tell you how big this number is. Work it out for yourself. That's a million and I know you can work it out for yourselves, okay? But it's a huge number. So there's that number of atoms in a spoonful of sugar. What's it telling us? It tells us that atoms are very, very small. Right. Now the atom, by definition, is the smallest particle and element that can exist. Suppose you've got a very special knife, and you could cut up a diamond to your smallest piece possible. Imagine this: imagine getting a diamond and cutting it and cutting it and cutting it and cutting it and cutting it. And cutting it okay? You'd be left with a carbon atom. Okay, so a diamond consists of carbon atoms. Suppose you do the same thing with a block of gold. This is gold here. Okay. Now, being an element, it consists of only one type of atom. So gold is a pure substance, and this only contains gold atoms. So what do these atoms look like? Well, to be honest, no one's ever seen what it looks like. But through experiments, we can make very, very good suggestions as to what the structure atom should be. And here we've got the basic atom. All right. Now this atom here we've got in the middle this bit here is called the nucleus. Okay? And what do you know about the nucleus? Well, it's the middle of the atom. It contains protons that could be for example these red bits here and neutrons which could be the white ones here. We know the nucleus has a positive charge because protons are positive. Remember the p's? P P positive proton. Now, almost all the atom mass is concentrated in the nucleus. Protons and neutrons are much, much bigger than electrons. So basically, the whole mass of the atom is concentrated here in our nucleus. But the volume is vast. Okay, the volume is very, 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 very big. Okay, these these electrons are shown far too close here. That's your basic atom it's got a very very big volume and the nucleus is tiny by comparison to the whole of the, of the, of the volume. On the outside we've got what are called electrons. Some facts about electrons they move around the nucleus. Okay, They move around the nucleus they are negatively charged so if protons are positive electrons are negative. Now compared to the protons and neutrons electrons are tiny Okay, but because they're whizzing around, they cover a lot of space, and this orbit volume actually determines the size of the atom. They've got virtually no mass. We'll look at this in just a moment, but basically, compared to these big guys here, they are tiny. And what they do, they occupy orbits or shells around the nucleus. Some books refer to them as orbits, some shells, some books even might call them energy levels. But that's where electrons live, in orbits around the nucleus. Let's see some facts now about the atom. Okay, here we go. Now, basically, they are neutral. They have no charge overall. Why is that? Because the charge on electrons is the same as the charge on the protons. Negative, positive. And the neutral atom, you've got equal numbers of electrons and protons. You've got equal numbers of electrons, equal numbers of protons, and therefore it's neutral. However, Sometimes atoms may lose or gain electrons. Now, if that's the case, if electrons are lost or gained, then the atom overall becomes charged. And this is known as an ion. Note the spelling I O N. So some atoms become positive ions by losing electrons, some atoms will negatively charged by gaining electrons. Now, neutron numbers are usually just a bit higher than proton numbers but can change. At the moment, we're not going to get too worried about that. Let's just summarize what we know about the atom. Okay, Three particles, proton, neutron, electron. What's the mass? Well, protons and neutrons have got an atomic mass, just arbitrary unit of one. 
Okay, this is not a gram or anything, just an arbitrary unit of one. Now compared to these two guys, electrons are tiny. There would have to be 2,000 electrons have the same mass as a neutron or a proton. So each electron is one two thousandth the mass of one of these guys. In terms of charges, protons are positive. Think about this, proton, positive. Neutrons are neutral, they have no charge. Electrons are negative. OK, you got that? OK, you should be able to, when you finish this video, reproduce this table here without any problem at all with all the details here about atoms. OK, thank you for watching my video. And um, if you want any more free videos, just visit my site at www.sciencerevisionvideo.com. OK, I'll be back with you again very soon.